Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing a pop-up reading. This one is all about the hot tea on you. So how this is going to work is I'm going to be using the Mystery House Oracle deck from Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, I got this on Etsy. Today I'm using mostly independent decks that you can find on Etsy. Um, I'm using a couple that I'm not sure that are on Etsy, but um, anyway, so um, I'm going to shuffle and the four cards that come out are going to be the four selections. So yes, I'm going to do four today. Um, I did four yesterday and so I'm going to do four today. Um, yeah, those are going to be your psychic linking objects and then I'm going to be pulling as I go for each group. So that's how a pop-up reading works for me. Um, these are really fun. I enjoy doing these and instead of a video, you'll get a picture uh, for about a few, a few seconds, a picture of the selections for you to pick from. All right. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and just knock this deck around. I've prepared this deck already as I have all my decks and um, but sometimes they like a little shuffle before so I'm going to need four cards um, for my reading for one, two, three, four my groups. One, two, three, four. We need to know what is the hot tea on my groups. The most informative, important messages. Okay, we have one that popped. So I'm going to take that one. Protection covered. That's going to be my group one. Okay, tell me what is my group two? What is my group two? This is group two. We have ghost hunters searching, looking evidence. That's going to be my group two. Okay, group three. Okay, we have a few cards, so we're going to select from these cards. Okay, tell me, Spirit, which card? Which card? This one is number three, Hidden Secrets. Okay, which card? Which card is group four? Tell me, Spirit, which card? Which card? This one. And we have Sleepy Hollow, Nightmares, Losing Sleep. Okay, so these are the groups. We have group one. I'm going to show you the cards really quick. Group two, group three, and group four. Now I'm going to include uh, a little picture. You can pause it if you need more time um, to see which group you're drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one group, there probably is more than one message here for you. And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye guys. Hey group one, all of you that selected protection, covered, cloak, this is going to be your reading all about what is a hot tea on you. Well, you're protected, okay, from what we're going to find out about the situation. Um, keep in mind, it's a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I'm going to pull first from the Toxic X-Files. Um, we're going to see what the situation is about, um, and we'll go from there. Tell me about the situation that my group one is protected from. What's going on? What are they dealing with? What have they been dealing with? Tell me about the situation. Okay, we have motion, but no ocean, tries to rock the boat, but needs SOS to get someone off. <laughs> We have waist trainer babe into their looks, but more than yours. Superficial pretty toy. Ooh, okay. Someone superficial here. A superficial person who lacks depth. Um, on the bottom of my channel messages deck, we have I'm a friend. I'm going to take that. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more. I'm a friend. Um, tell me more. This is someone who is... I think, uh, let's get a little bit more, let's get a little bit more energy here. Uh, we have several. Okay, this person may be loud, fake. Someone's being fake with you. Cancer, psychic, dark and divine, dark hair. Okay, so they may have dark hair. Um, psychic, they may be a cancer. You may be a cancer. They're being fake with you. You're being protected from someone who's, who's in your energy who's fake. Okay, they're, they're, what do they want? 
what are they wanting here what is we have attraction i'm i'm pulling this attraction there's some kind of they're attracted to you uh, this could be someone who's been wanting to like date you wanting to be a close friend what's the tea here on this toxic person this fake person this fake bitch this may actually be someone you have known for a while um who the relationship has like de-evolved okay um let's get into this energy it just it feels really gross i don't want to hear it okay then we have gym meeting someone at the gym we have like two gym energies here okay this may be somebody you like work out with or you go to the gym with but i'm really picking up on like this is someone who's incredibly shallow and fake um i'm not like hitting on someone who's super into health what i'm hitting on is someone who is not genuine someone who's not being genuine with you um i want to pull some tarot here let's pull some Mm, let's get one from a couple from this deck right here. We have St. Lazarus, back to life, healed, being helped, saint of the poor and sick. Okay, I'm going to tell you, there's jealousy here. There's been like a switch. There's been a switch up. If you've known this person for a while, something has changed. And it might be because you're looking better. And now they're filling you with some kind of competition. Um, and it's not that you didn't look good before. Okay. It's just for some reason they didn't see you as a uh, competition. And now they do. Okay. Um, and I feel like if this is someone entering your life, I feel like it's a weird energy. It's like someone who wants to be in your energy. They want to be around you. They may even want to be your bestest friend, but they're horribly jealous of you. And it's almost like they're trying to get close to you just to like get your energy, get your vibe, almost steal your vibe somehow. Okay. We have Lilith at the bottom of this deck. Okay. I'm going to take that. Yeah, I feel like there is serious levels of jealousy here. Um, and you're being protected from it. You're being protected from this person. So if you have someone in your life who you're getting the weird, weird vibes from all of a sudden, if there's someone trying to enter your life and spirit kind of, it seems like you guys can never get together for that drink or you uh, talk to them, but you fall out somehow or um, it just could never work out that's probably your guides your protectors the energies around you your ancestors just saying you know what you need to hold off on this bitch <laughs> if it's somebody wanting to date you you're being protected from their fakeness because i feel like there isn't a deep connection here and i feel like your spirit guides your the guides the spirits you work with are trying to keep you away from shallow connections um and really trying to get you into some real, true, you may be a Scorpio, okay? Um, really deep, meaningful connections. Uh, you may have made some kind of commitment to yourself or just have said to spirit, I don't want any more fake friends. I don't want any more insincere people in my life. And that might be what this is. Um, just someone in your life who is very fake. Um, it's almost like for, this won't be for all of them, but for some of them, they, it's almost like they want to be you. We have the six of wands here. See, I feel like this is your energy. Okay. This victorious kind of energy, this, you know, really, and it doesn't mean that you're feeling this beautiful, victorious, like abundant attraction energy all the time. Okay, um, it just means this is how this person you're being protected from sees you. Okay, they see you um, because they don't understand that they really can't get to you because you're divinely protected. Like you're you're one of those that has gone through so much um, that you're just protected from this kind of shit. They're this kind of these kind of people are revealed to you like i'm revealing it to you now um we have quite a few cards we're going to take them um we have the four of swords here we have the eight of swords okay we have the tower all right we have the knight of swords and we have the high priestess okay i'm going to tell you 
this person has seriously bad energy, okay? If they could make a tower in your life fall, they would. Um, I'm feeling the Knight of Swords here, the Tower, and the Eight of Swords as aggressive energy to do you some kind of injury, be it social, emotional, like I want to take you down a peg or two. Um, it's almost like if I can't have what you have, then I don't think you should have it either kind of thing. It's, it's, it's serious levels of jealousy here. Um, and the truth is, is that they can never touch this high priestess who is unbothered. I'm getting unbothered with the four swords. You are fucking unbothered. Um, and you're in this kind of victorious energy, uh, this kind of like, it's not that you think you're better than others, it's that you can see you see through the bullshit and you follow your guidance because you're the high priestess. You listen to spirit. And I feel like, you know, you've had some kind of weird feeling about why every time I try to do this, it doesn't work out. Like every time I try to do this for this person or get with this person or talk to this person, there's just all this distance. It's because you're being protected from the fakeness of this person, the jealousy of this person, the mal intent of this person. Um, and it is for your higher good. And unfortunately, you know, when you get into certain positions in your spirituality, you know, this happens. Um, you, people change. Like if this is somebody in your life, people change. They, they see you glowing. They see you changing and they don't like it because they can't use you anymore. You know, they can't, they can't take advantage of you. Um, and then you attract people who are attracted to your light. They're attracted to how you look because a lot of you guys have a glow about you, an energetic glow. They want some of that. And then they realize that they can't have some of that because they're not willing to do the work you've done. They're not willing to do that stuff. So uh, they want to steal it. They want to covet it. They, they want to get it somehow. Um, and... A lot of times those people turn into frenemies. They, they get close to you, but they're really a hater. They're really talking shit about you behind your back. And it's almost like you've reached a point in your spiritual walk here where you're just on to bigger and better things and you don't have time for these annoying little tower moments anymore. They don't really serve you. Like you've gone through these. Like You've been triggered by people like this before. You may have been triggered by this person before. And it's like spirit is saying, no, nah, we're not doing this anymore. We don't need to do this. There's no value in this. So now we're just kind of like, we're kind of like, I'm seeing like almost like a mass forming around this person. It's like your spirits are like, putting a mass around them, like incubating them and like rejecting them like a disease. They're being pushed away out of your energy. They're being revealed and pushed away. So you're very protected. And I feel like for you, group one, it's very important that you realize how protected you are because the amount of protection you have is in direct relation to how much work you've done. And it's very powerful, like how far you've come. And I really think you need to take a moment and just kind of breathe that in and enjoy that, you know, um, and get into this beautiful energy you have, like get into the wisdom that you have gained. Um, relax. A lot of you guys need to get into this relaxation energy. You need to get into this like vibe of taking care of yourself. And it's really important that you celebrate all your victories, no matter how small, because you have some bigger victories coming for you. All right. Okay, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy pop-up readings, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey group two, all of you that selected ghost hunters, searching, looking evidence. This is going to be your reading all about what is a hot tea on you. All right. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right. So let's get into the tea and see what is the searching 
looking evidence about? What is the searching looking evidence about for my group two? Tell me what the T is for my group two. What is the T? What is the T? Give me a few cards here. I'm thinking three cards. Three cards for group two. Three cards. Okay. Well, there's two. We have someone is thinking of you. Oh, okay. We have walking away. All right. All right. Tell me about this. Tell me a little bit more. Give me a, uh, one or two more cards. One or two more cards. Okay. We have a change in energy, a shift. Okay. I want the top card. We have signs from spirit, synchronicities. Okay. Let's pull some tarot here. Um, you know, this feels like love, but it could be friendship. What's the T on this? Someone, someone's thinking of my group too. And there's a shift of energy coming. The searching energy. Waiting on a sign. Waiting on a sign. Tell me about this. We have the seven of scepters, which is like the seven of wands. Okay. All right. Tell me more about this connection. Okay. Th these cards just kind of slid out in a plop. There's quite a few of them. So we'll see. Okay. Tell me more. We have the nine of grails, which is the nine of cups. I'm going to kind of cover that up, just censor it because YouTube. Um, we have the eight of scepters. Okay. We have the 10 of knives. Okay. This feels like someone who you are in no contact with. Okay. Um, this is definitely someone who you are in no contact with. Tell me more about this no contact. We have the four of skulls, the four of pentacles. Okay. Right here. Um, I feel like this person, they may be an earth sign. Um, it's just Taurus, Capricorn. Um, I want to say Pisces, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. It's almost like they're blocking the Virgo out here. Um, I, I feel like there wasn't enough, I'm hearing like emotion here. There wasn't enough, tell me more, the six of knives, the six of swords. Yeah, there wasn't enough seven of grails, seven of cups. I feel like the falling out had to do with like there wasn't enough connection expression. There wasn't enough um, depth here. You didn't feel. Um, it's almost like they said they cared, but you didn't feel it. Um, I'm getting this feeling like, and this could be a friend. Okay. It could be a friend that you just thought was using you or something. Okay. Um, and there was just this need to kind of like move on, just moving on. Nothing really was resolved. It's almost like it was left kind of open-ended for some of you. This person is definitely, if you have an online presence, they're definitely snooping around, okay? Um, if you have a friend group in common, they've definitely talked about you. Um, I think they haven't really walked away. It's like, you walked away, but they're like standing there um, because they feel like this is not finished. They feel like this is not done um, because there's a lot of emotion. This person, it's almost like with the earth energy, I'm feeling like, like repressed emotion here coming forward, um, like things left unsaid. Uh, tell me about this things left unsaid. We have the ace of knives in reverse. Okay. Um, there's a lot of confusion is what I'm feeling. Uh, they don't have a lot of clarity about what happened. They're left with a lot of emotion for you and they don't know what to do with it. And so they're using it to kind of watch you. Um, and 
I feel this like reluctance to move on. I feel like this person's probably asking people around you how you're doing and they're telling you that telling them that you've moved on and you know you have a lot of lot going on with the seven of grails we have a lot going on we have the tower here um i feel like this no contact was really a tower moment for them um i feel like it deeply affected them probably more than what you think okay they're still affected by it they're affected by the loss of you um, I'm going to tell you, they feel like they fucked themselves over by letting this go. Um, letting you go was a bad move on their part. Whatever they did, I feel like they fucked you over in some way. The Lord of Knives. Okay. Um, yeah, this feels like someone who probably had aggressive speech with you or aggressive communication. Things got out of line. Um, they probably said things that they probably can't take back, but damn, they wish they could. Uh, that's what I'm getting. Like, I wish I could take this shit back. I wish I could unfuck myself with this person. Um, so it's almost like they're a lingering ghost with ghost hunters. They're a lingering ghost and they're hoping that you somehow pick up their signal. Um, and I got, I got to tell them like, that's probably not going to happen. I feel like you've moved on. I feel like spirit is letting you know this because many of you guys have kind of felt a little haunted by this person or you have felt like maybe they're watching you um, and you're just not sure. You may be feeling a little confusion as well about like, what's going on here? What's the weirdness? Even though you know it's over, okay? And you've moved on. And I don't think it's been easy for you. I think this has been difficult. I, I think you moving on was just something you had to do. And I, I feel like you've had to really like heal and shift your energy. I feel like you really had to kind of like focus in on what's best for you. And what's best for you was not this motherfucker. Okay. This person was not best for you. Um, and I feel like, though, you separating from this person really has let a lot more light into your life, okay? I feel like spirit um, really has been supportive of this kind of separation here. But you have a clinger, a clinger. I hope I'm, my tongue's really heavy, you guys, for my medication. But you have somebody who's like, grasp on to your energy and they just really don't want to let go even though you have withdrawn your energy from this person uh we have the second chakra sacral chakra i feel okay um some of you guys may have done like calling back your power or cord cutting or something like that and they're definitely feeling the loss of you um i feel like they've had some really difficult times without you and I don't think they realized how much you helped them, how much you supported them, um, how much you were there for them. They, they did not fucking realize it until you were gone and they fucked themselves over. But the thing is, I feel like you probably did too much for this person. You were probably too present, too there for this person. And um, it feels like this separation was necessary for your growth, for your betterment, okay? Um, it feels like this was absolutely necessary for you to get where you need to be in life. Um, it really was what needed to happen. Um, but this person is left in kind of, I'm hearing the word sorrow here, sorrow. We're going to get several of these. We have, there's only one thing that makes someone change their own realization that they need to do it okay um there were probably changes that needed to be made in this relationship and you talked about them you requested them you probably worked through them they probably said okay i'm gonna change i'm, I'm gonna I'm going to do that thing that I need to do for you. I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to do all these things. And maybe they did it for a little bit, but they could never really make the change. I feel like they wish they had. Um, the truth is, is that they really don't see the need for change. They still aren't there. 
So even if they walked back into your life and you were to bring them back, which I think is a horrible idea, and most of you are like, oh no, that's never going to happen, um, you would still be dealing with the same stuff you dealt with before. This person is not healed. They don't recognize their own issues. They don't recognize their own faults. This person has a lot of pride. Um, they may be a Leo or a fire sign or a, like a Taurus or Capricorn that's completely out of balance. I'm feeling there may be addiction issues here as well. They may, it may not be substances. They may be addicted to other things. Um, but I feel like this person doesn't feel like they're at fault. It's more like they're a victim. Um, we have being angry is like holding coal in your hands. Expect the other person to feel the pain. Yeah, I, I feel like even though they're searching your name and they miss you, there is a lot of anger here. There is a lot of, um, and so some of the searching is really about like, um, yeah, I miss you, but you were wrong. You were wrong to do what you did. Yeah, I miss you, but uh, you need to apologize. So it, it's like, yeah, I miss you, but I miss you, but. Um, and so they're holding a lot of anger. They maybe hate watching you. Um, you know, they gossip about you. Uh, when something good happens, they kind of talk shit on you. So it's a very chaotic kind of feel this energy like they miss you they miss they miss all the sweet things blah 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 but they also miss like the things you used to do for them the things that put you in a bad situation the things that you've healed from uh, we have angel number 999 the process of a cycle ending time to let go so it really is like you have let go to a degree, most of you. But I feel like this coming forward is a validation that for any of you who are holding on to this, it's time to completely surrender this, okay? This person is not healed. They're not anywhere near a place of healing where you could even entertain like being friends or having them back in your life. Like they would completely go back to the way it was and you're not the same person so it wouldn't work and it would be very unhappy for you um move forward you know embrace the change embrace your new energy and move forward now for some of you i feel like there is someone coming in and i want to pull on that tell me about someone coming in for some of you like this is romantic or a friend but this is someone coming in as you release some of you have released this person completely um others of you you know you're in the last stages of that and that's what this is um this person though they're going to hang on to your energy like they're going to try they're going to keep looking they're going to keep talking about you like this is this is going to go on okay so you just have to kind of find peace about that and move on all right you don't need to have words you don't need to talk to them okay we have five of skulls the lovers and the queen of scepters okay so the scepters is one so it feels like a fire sign okay so it's sagittarius aries leo we have the five of skulls here um <laughs> look at this <laughs> It's a beast. It's a werewolf and a woman. Okay. Beauty and the beast here. This person may be very different from you. Okay. Um, and I'm feeling like this energy of like, ha, I found you. <laughs> I found you. I finally found you. This is someone who has been looking for you. So this person who's coming into your life is like, believe it or not, you may be an answer to a wish or a prayer for them. This is, they're searching for you. You are someone that's wanted and searched for by someone else, okay? And we have the lovers here, all right? So this is definitely a romantic connection or a deep soul connection with somebody else who's coming in, okay? Um, and I feel like they're wildly attracted to you. Like this is like deep 
um, smexy, sexy energy. Um, tell me more about this. <laughs> we just want to know a little bit more. Just a little bit more about this connection. Tell us a little bit more. A little bit more. Tell me about these lovers and this, this sexy beast. Tell me more about this. Tell me more. Okay. We have... Oh, we have a few. We have the Hermit. We have the Daughter of Skulls. We have the Two of Grails and the Empress. Oh, my. So the Two of Grails, Two of Cups, and the Lover. So this person's going to be a friend to you. They're going to be a companion. This is love and friendship. This is a relationship that is balanced. We have the Daughter of Skulls here. Um, I feel like this person may move more slowly than you like, but I feel like for what you've been through, slow is good. Okay, slow will give you time to kind of ground the energy. It'll give you time to vet this person. It'll give you time to be a friend um, and to get to know them and for them to get to know you, okay? You may be very complicated. You may be kind of a complex person in this kind of area. Um, if it's a friend, I feel like they may be a little bit of a loner as well. Um, I also feel like this person, there's another werewolf here. Um, I feel like this person... Um, they're wise. They've been through a lot. Okay. They're a very wise individual. Um, and I feel like you can depend on them. And to them, you have this empress energy. It's not gender, it's energy. Okay. Um, there's a lot of attraction here. I can't say that enough. Like this person's going to think you're beautiful, you're handsome. They're going to find your energy to energy to be very comforting and very peaceful so you will soothe the savage beast whoops i can't even hold the card you will <laughs> you will soothe the savage beast so to speak all right so it's a really lovely person that's coming in but they have a primal kind of energy too they have a wildness wink wink they have a little wild spark let me let me just touch on it i'm just going to touch it Okay, we're going to touch that wildness a little bit with this, these uh, Cupid's Desires. Okay, tell me a little bit about this wild, wild energy. Okay, about this wild energy. Okay, this may be somebody in your life right now. We have the package, the gift, naughty. Okay, breadcrumbs, just enough to keep you. Okay, this person is a tease. <laughs> All right. They have like a little bit of a tease energy. Um, they're going to want to give you a gift often. They also may be a gift giver. Not just, you know, the package, but actually gift giving may be their, um, their love language or their friend language, okay? I do feel like if this is a friend, this is going to be like someone who becomes a best friend, like a down, down for you, ride or die friend, okay? Okay, give me one more of these Cupid's Desires. Okay, we have lights on. I want to see everything. Wants to see you. Okay. And this is actually from Naughty, the Naughty T tarot. It got switched in to, uh, <laughs> to this other one. So they wanted you to know that like, they are super attracted to you. Okay. They are blown away by you. And it's, I feel like someone who is, gets intoxicated by you, um, and is blown away and it's not just by your looks but there's something about your mind your soul how you work and your energy they find it intoxicating so this is someone who's almost like spellbound by you almost so it's really a lovely energy it's very romantic and i think you're really going to enjoy it now if this is a friend they feel smitten with you like there's a charm here they find you charming so it's it's lovely this is someone who's really going to be there for you um, and be very supportive. All right. So that's what I got for you, group two. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. If you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's pop up tarot, give me a thumbs up and I will see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected shadow people, hidden secrets, this is going to be your reading all about what is the hot tea on you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so let's get into it. What is this hidden secrets all about? What is the tea on this? We want to know. Tell us. We want to know what is the tea on this shit? <laughs>
<laughs> what is the hidden secrets? Reveal the hidden secrets to me for group three. What is the hidden secrets? Tell me. I'm going to take a few cards here. Three. We have you, you know, already know the T. Already knowing the T. Okay, you may have a feeling about this. Okay. Don't you hate that feeling? Like, you know, like someone is not being truthful with you or someone who you thought had your back doesn't have your back kind of thing. It's just, it's just a horrible feeling like something's wrong. Something's off. Watching shit go down, enjoying the gossip. So bitches are talking. They're flapping their gums. We have pregnancy tests, unsure, pregnancy scare, positive, negative. Oh my. Okay. So for some of, some of you guys, people are talking about like perhaps not a pregnancy, but they're talking about who you're hooking up with or who they think you're hooking up with or uh, your partner. Like people want to know more. There's like a mystery here. We have copycat. Okay. So you have people gossiping about you. You have people talking about you and it's, it feels like it's several different things. Give me some more. Give me some more. So you have, um, you have people who are wanting to copy you or are thinking you're copying somebody else. Love story, once upon a time. Again, this feels like your romantic life people are talking about. Um, <laughs> gosh. Um, and we have crush. Okay, so we have someone who has a crush on you who is talking about you as well. Um, it feels like the the love energy, the, it feels like a couple different energies there. Okay, give me give me a couple more. Can you give me a couple more. Okay. Someone has a crush on you. Someone is someone who I feel like someone's wanting to copy you expecting a new beginning. Okay. Um, some of you guys, there's a rumor going around that you're pregnant or maybe you are pregnant. Um, something about that. Let's just keep going. Let's keep pulling. That won't be for all of you. Of course, coming in after you. Ooh, a great actor putting on a show, copycat. Okay. Um, we have quite a few energies here, so let's just kind of get into it and break it down. Um, let's go with this pregnancy, expecting a new beginning. And what I'm feeling here is happy family. Um, I'm feeling like some bitch talking about someone's happy family. Um, possibly talking about your person, slandering, hearing like slandering your good name kind of thing. Um, let's get into this. You know what? I want to pull also uh, toxic X-Files. I want to pull the toxic energy talking about this. I feel like someone, this could be family, just a busybody talking about shit that's none of their fucking business. Let's, let's get one more here. One more, one more, one more. I'm feeling like this one that's peeking out. Okay. All right. Let's look at the toxic ones first. Okay, we have Kramer versus Kramer. Refuses to co-parent after a disillusion of a relationship and makes things difficult for children involved. Okay, so this may be an ex who you've had children with, okay? The happily ever after wasn't happily ever after, okay? Maybe you're happily ever after after they've gone away, right? And um, I feel like this is their family and them talking about you, gossiping about you. I think they're... They're judging your parenting. They're judging the amount of time the other person gets, something like that. We have constant complainer, isn't satisfied with their life and or others and expects others to change. Even if others do, they are still not satisfied. We have holds onto fears, has difficulty, difficulty releasing the fears, which may be holding them back moving forward, comfortable in what they know versus the unknown. Okay, so in this one, if you resonate with this energy, this is someone who is playing the victim. Them, okay. It feels like in a divorce with children. Okay. And it may not be a formal divorce. It may be a breakup where there was children involved, but it feels like, it feels like they're talking shit on you. Um, and for some of you, this is very specific, but for some of you, they're lying to the lawyers about you. We have the high priestess, we have the hermit, we have the three of cups and we have the star. Okay. So what this tells me is that you see through the bullshit. Okay. Um, you're very wise. You see through the bullshit. And I feel like with the star here, I think things are going to work in your favor. I also feel like, um, this person can't stand the fact that things are better for you without them. 
That's part of the hatred. That's part of the gossip. That's part of the shit that they're trying to pop off. They hate that you're better without them. Um, and they're jealous of your life. Uh, some of, for some of you, the high priestess has met their match in the hermit or your hermit is coming. Um, it's like, this to me is a divine counterpart situation, super divine, super, super matched. Okay. Maybe twin flame even, I don't like that label, but a uh, divine counterpart situation. Um, for me, divine counterpart is a more elevated twin flame kind of thing. Uh, twin flames many times have a lot of issues going on. This, you know, this may be second marriage, third marriage. This is, this may be uh, people who've been through a lot, um, been through their twin flame stuff apart and now they're together as divine counterparts. Um, and I just feel like with the star here, I feel like releasing this and moving forward, even though for a lot of you, this is a pain in the ass, um, I feel like has brought back hope and light into your life. Um, I do think if you're with somebody else, I feel like they're talking about that person. Okay. They're talking trash on that person. Um, and there's fear about like, if you have a child with this ex, I feel like they talk about like, well, I don't want that person around my kid. Um, and they complain a lot about that, even though they've really not stepped up probably in their own situation with their own kid, right? Um, and I feel like for some of them, they're putting on a mask, like I'm a super parent, but they've never really been real present. So it's very um, fake. It's very... It, it seems real insincere. It seems highly manipulative. Okay. Um, but I do feel like you have the ability to see through this. I feel like a lot of you probably know this is going on. Um, and I feel like spirit is bringing this forward because they want you to know that they're not going to be allowed to fuck you over. It's, it's not going, you're not just going to, they're not going to continue to roll over you as far as like if you're in some kind of custody battle or divorce situation, okay? It's just super important that you take care of yourself. It's just super important that you do what's in your best interest, okay? Um, yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of positive vibration around you. All right, let's move on to the coming in after you kind of energy. Okay, so the crush, the coming in after you, this was like, of course, someone who has a crush on you, okay, who's talking about you, watching you, okay. Um, I don't feel like you know about this person. I think they're hidden. Um, for some of you, like this is a friend of your partner. Okay, um, if you're with somebody, um, for some of you, this is like a friend of somebody you work with or somebody who comes around your office or your work. Okay, um, let's pull some of this love energy. All right, those pops, we're going to take them. We have feed me. Ooh, <laughs> wow, well, is that the only one that popped? Okay, um, feed me. There may be something about lunch here. Maybe you see them at lunch. Um, we have cocktails, drinks, and conversation. Okay, this goes into that deck. Okay, um, you might see them at a bar or after work, um, uh, holding back partial effort, not a hundred. Okay, so they haven't really come forward. They haven't let you know they have a crush on you. Okay, this could be a friend of a friend. Uh, it could have to do with, like maybe you've had dinner at, in a friend group or a business lunch or at a convention, something like that. Um, and it, this may be in a situation where they feel like they have to hold back because of professionalism um, or something like that, but they feel like they can't really let you know they're into you because it might be unprofessional. Um, give me some more energy about this person. We're going to switch to the tarot now. Okay, tell me some more about this person. This person who has a crush on my group too, that's a big secret. Um, and I feel like for some of you, you might be surprised. Uh, we have strength here. They could be a Leo. Um, you might be surprised how interested they are in you because I feel like they are masking it pretty good. Because I mean, look, look at this cabbage patch or this uh, garbage pail kid. Look at the body, very muscular. And then we have this little girly face here. So it's like, it's very different. Like what they're putting out is very different. That's what I'm picking up on. Very different from how they truly feel. Okay. So I feel like they're masking it. They don't want you to know they're trying to hide it. Cause I feel like 
they either don't want to come off as unprofessional or they don't want to rock some boat or something or they're just not ready um, and it could be because you have a partner okay we got a few cards here we have the knight of cups the moon and the wheel okay all right so the moon is the secretive energy okay they they really just I, i'm hearing this like i would die if they knew how badly i want to you know offer them make an offer like ask them out or hook up or i would just i'm not ready i i'm scared i'm scared this person is afraid to kind of like offer you this and turn the wheel and see what happens. I feel like this person may be afraid of rejection or afraid of the consequences that might happen if they make this offer to you. Um, I'm getting here like, I'm getting Gemini energy because of the, the this card, even though it's Leo with this two, I'm feeling two different energies with this card specifically. I'm reading it intuitively at this point. Um, and with the moon here, again, we're getting two different energies. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling Gemini, even though it's the moon card and it's cancer. Um, I, I'm feeling like a lot of like Gemini, strong Gemini energy here. Um, and I, I got to tell you, we also have like Taurus energy, Leo energy. I'm feeling Sagittarius. Then we have the water which feels like Pisces, Scorpio, and then we have Cancer again. So um, they definitely want to make an offer, but they are, <laughs> it's a very repressed feeling. It's something that's hidden. Um, and honestly, I, I don't see this wheel turning anytime soon. I, I think this is going to go on for a while. Um, I think it's going to go on long enough for you to maybe figure out who this is. Okay. Um, for those of you who have a partner, that's exactly why you don't know. That's exactly why. Um, but I will tell you that you drive this person crazy. Um, there is some of your body language that really triggers this person. And I'm going to talk about something, um, and it might make people uncomfortable, but this person like edges to some of your, like if you have an online thing going on and it could be like you just make pancakes on YouTube, it doesn't matter. There's something about your voice that they kind of edge to. If you know, you know, I'm not going to go into it. Okay. Um, but I, I feel like this person is incredibly attracted to you. Um, they really think about taking you out to dinner um, instead of like, if you go to business dinners, they think about like you going um, to like a, a, a personal kind of dinner. Now, for some of you, if this is somebody you work with, I'm getting this energy of like, they may be waiting for a time for you guys to go on a trip together. Okay. So just be aware of that. Just be aware if that... That won't read for all of you, but if it does, it does. Don't make it, don't make it fit. All right. Now let's move on to this, um, this copycat great actor. Okay. So this is someone who I, it feels like they think you're fake. They think you're not real. They think you're putting on a show and they talk to people about it. They tell people you're, you're fake. Like none of this is real. You can't be that nice or you can't be this or you can't be that. And I feel like they're, they're trying to stir, stir up trouble for you. Um, like only a true hater can do, right? Um, let's get some toxic energy here. Tell me about this hater. This feels like a straight up hater um, who just talks shit. They just talk shit because they can, because that's what haters do. Haters hate. That's what they do. The great Cat Williams will tell you that, all right? Hits the road, Jack. Bails out when shit gets hard. Okay, so this is someone who is bitter because you cut them off, or they feel like you just walked away and didn't tell them why. Um, they feel rejected by you, okay? We have Tic-Tac-Toe, or Tic-Tac-Hoe. Ooh, plays basic mind games, but acts as if they are outsmarting everyone. Okay, so this person plays a lot of mind games. Games. They think they're really smart. They think they really got their shit together. But the truth is, they're a trashy hoe. <laughs> they're a hating ass, trashy, trifling biatch. Okay. Um, they're hating what you got going on. Um, and uh, this person 
is mad because you rejected them either socially, romantically, what have you. And um, they're making up stories. They're literally making up stories about you. Like it's, it's, it's so trashy. It's just absolutely trashy. And the thing is, is that a lot of people see through this caught up finding evidence, getting caught cheating. Oh my God. So a lot of them are telling you, telling people that, that they think you're cheating on your person. Like I see them with them. I see them, but you know, you know how they were acting. Their partner was acting. I think they're cheating. They don't really love them. They can't really be that into them. Like for real. Yeah. That kind of shit, that kind of shit. Just, just sparking up rumors, just sparking up doubt right? Just because they have no fucking life, you know? You know, Becky needs to find a boo. Becky needs to find something to motherfucking do. You know, she she just doesn't have enough busy work investigating. So they're digging for dirt on you. They are definitely digging for dirt on you, group three. They definitely want to find out what you're up to. If you have recently like introduced people to your person or something, they're investigating your person. They're trying to find dirt on them. They're trying to uh, see that they're cheating because they're convinced, a lot of them, that they're cheating or you're cheating. They're trying to find evidence of that because they want to drag that out in the past, out in the, not out of the past, but out into the open from the past. Um, they're looking for anything that would make you look bad because they can't stand the fact that you look so good to other people. It doesn't mean that things are great for you. It just means that's how you appear. Okay. We have bugaboo <laughs> and we have busy time management. You were just too busy for them. And some of you, some of you were too busy because you got a bugaboo. Um, you know, you got in a relationship and you didn't have time for this person or you didn't want a relationship with this fucking person. And that's okay. You have a right to tell people fucking no. And this person didn't like it. They didn't take your rejection well. They felt rejected by you. And for some of you, you don't feel like you rejected them. You just like, I have a life. I have things I have to do. I, I don't have time. You know, I don't have time for this. Um, but they feel that as rejection. Like you didn't want anything to do with them. So, you know, I'm going to talk shit on you as much as I possibly can. Let's get some more. Let's get some more uh, tarot on this. Tell me more about this bitch. We want to know. A big clump fell out. So it seems like the cabbage patch, uh, not cabbage, I keep calling it cabbage patch. It's the garden pail, garden pail, <sighs> garbage, pale tarot, likes to fall out in clumps. Uh, we have the page of cups. We have the knight of cups. Oh, we have the queen of coins. Okay. We have the knight of wands. We have the magician. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this person is a love bomber. Okay, so um, I feel like they came in very syrupy sweet. They came in very fake. Um, and I feel like you saw through their bullshit. You just saw through all these cups, all this sweetness. I'm feeling like, like sappy sweetness. Like you just saw this bitch as fake. And you were like, I don't have time for fake bullshit. Um, it's feeling very syrupy to me, very like saccharine, sweet corn syrup. It's feeling like corn syrup, like too much corn syrup in, in the cake just made it so sweet. You can't even fucking eat it. And it left a bad taste in your mouth. Um, it didn't feel, didn't feel sincere and you were right on. Okay. Cause they wanted to be your bugaboo, your very bestest friend or your, your lover for life kind of thing. Um, and really they're kind of a fan. Um, for some of you, they're a super stalker fan because they're watching you online and talking shit about you. Okay. But we have the queen of coins here and I want you to know that, um, as, a, as a successful independent, um, person, you're going to have this kind of shit because you have this king of wands energy, you, this, um, very, um, charismatic kind of vibe. People are drawn to you. And, and with that, 
you can get the immature people with the page of cups you can get emotionally immature people um, and that's what this is um, we have the six of cups here um, you have a really beautiful kind of vibe that draws people to you um, and you get this sometimes and I picked this up in another group today I can't remember which one it is I think it's one um, you get this kind of energy when especially when you start healing yourself right um, I do feel like you're very em empathic um, and because of that you have a lot of compassion for people um, and people take advantage of that and I feel like this energy tried to take advantage of that on some level okay and you were like no I don't do that anymore like we don't do that shit anymore you're not allowed to come over here and fuck me over because I'm an empath you're not allowed to come over and fuck me over because I'm a healer you're not allowed to come over and fuck me over because I've glowed up and I'm this and I'm that you know I'm not stupid I know exactly what you're doing I'm I'm leaning back I'm leaning back and watching the shit show because I know I know this is going on I absolutely know who's fake. I can read a room like nobody's fucking business. I feel that here. Like, I know. All these fucking people are talking about me. I feel like for some of you, this has been your life. Like, people always talk about you behind your back. And it's become such a normal thing for you that you're just like, what else is new? You know, it's almost like someone who doesn't bother, like if you're a witch, you don't bother to cast like gossip spells because, you know, people are always talking about me. So it doesn't fucking matter. Like, it's just part of my reality. You know, I just, I just ignore it and move on kind of thing. Um, I feel like the hater energy is just, it's, it's kind of like lingering. And the truth is, as you continue on your path, you continue to accomplish your goals, you will have more people who hate on you for no fucking reason, because they can't be you, because they can't see themselves accomplishing the same things you have accomplished. It's jealousy, it's self-hatred really projected upon people who are trying to achieve, who are actively trying to achieve their goals, um, because some people are frozen in time and they can't move forward. That is this person. They are frozen in time and cannot move forward. And there's nothing you or anyone else can do to help them. Okay. So you just keep doing your beautiful, beautiful work and being your beautiful, beautiful self and allow these gossipy people to not be unbothered by this. Okay, this is a result of the work you've done and the changes you've made and the fact that you have triggered people, you have catalysted people for their own growth. How they, they deal with you is not a reflection on you, but on them and at, of their stage of growth, not on your stage of growth, because I feel like you're elevated and a lot of this shit here is fucking petty. And you don't have time for this, but it's always good to know what's going on. So you're aware. So when some raggedy ass bitch comes to you with some kind of petty ass problem, you're like, oh yeah, I, I know. Fuck off. <laughs> you know, like I don't have time for this shit. I don't have time for this shit kind of thing. So, all right, group three, that's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group four, all of you that selected Sleepy Hollow, Nightmares, Losing Sleep, this is going to be your reading all about what is a hot tea on you. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, so let's get into it and find out what the Nightmares, Losing Sleep is about. Now, I've been using mostly independent decks, except for the tarot, but you guys, uh, the spirits had me go get um, this horror oracle. Um, so we're going to be using this. But first, I'm going to use the October oracle. This is from Calico Moon Oracles. You can find that on Etsy. So let's pull a few of these. Tell me about the Sleepy Hollow. Tell me about my group four. What is the hot tea? my group for what is this nightmare is losing sleep about i'm hearing someone mess with the real one and i kind of felt this 
uh, as I was connecting, like someone messed with a real one. Someone messed with a real one. Okay. We have mask that flipped over mask. Someone got a peek beneath your mask. We're not talking about the masks that you wear to hide yourself, but the masks that you put on uh, to, uh, um, how shall we say, protect people from you, your power. Spirit animal contact, pay attention to the signs. I think you are extremely protected. You may have been drawn to group one as well. We have endings, clean house options. I think you put an end to something. As you were removing masks in your life, uh, probably in relationships, um, these masks came off and it, it really revealed uh, that you did indeed have, have better options, that where you were, what you were dealing with wasn't, I'm hearing, fair or right, codependency and addictions. Um, there was a lot of uh, negative situations that you surrounded yourself with and you had to remove masks and heal some toxicity to get free. Um, and you have left people in your wake, okay? And they fucked with a real one here. And there's one mask you wear. And it's not because you're ashamed or you're hiding yourself. It has to do with the level of power you have. Purity, cleanse. It's almost like it's a mask of power. And you've had to bring it out in this situation. You've had to bring out your mask of power. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more. Tell me about this mask of power. Tell me about this mask of power. Tell me about this cleansing of this toxic energy. Okay, we got several toxic tea cards. We have the devil's advocate trapped in their addictions. We have addictions here. And is attracted to others due to their own addictions. Birds of a feather flock together. We have full of air, pretends they have it all together, but is holding it all in compress compression socks. Uh, Casper the shady ghost, mysterious and cute, but doesn't stay around for long and only appears at their own convenience. We have public enemy. No one likes them and no one is trying to hide their disdain. How they have treated others have left a bad taste in other people's mouths. And we have unproductive Casanova. Sleeps with others, hustles, sleeps while others hustle and grinds, waits for the check but won't put in the effort to make some dough. Okay, so these could be several different energies that you have had to kind of like remove yourself from okay i will say i'm picking up on the addictive codependent toxic energy um i i feel like they've seen the power of like your your power mask um and perhaps you've done spell work here um and i feel like there's truth about them being revealed um, in their lives. And it's causing them a lot of heartache with this nightmares losing sleep. It's like, see how they're standing in front of a mirror? It's like the mirror of truth is reflecting in their lives. And people are seeing the truth of them. I feel like there's magic at play uh, for many of you in this. Okay. Um, they, their inconsistencies are being revealed. Um, their inability to maintain any kind of consistent story or consistent presence is being revealed. Um, 
I feel like this person has done some pretty evil, wicked things, tapping into forbidden knowledge. I feel like this is you. I feel like uh, many of you may have used like the occult. You may, there's no judgment here. Okay. You may not have used the occult. Okay. You may have used something else. Might, might have used prayer or just, you know, um, letting karma work it out. But for some of you, this is like occult work. This is magic. Okay. You've used magic. You cast a spell. It could be painful. There is no judgment here. Okay. Um, it's you and your magic. You are untouchable. I'm fearing a feeling like a fiery wall of protection here. We have protective, powerful, strong, fertile, death, burial, um, military, Sobek. Um, they can't touch you. That's part of the frustration here. They can't touch you, and their life is becoming a nightmare. Okay? That's the T. Um, you reap what you sow, motherfucker. I feel like uh, this person seriously fucked you over. And uh, they didn't realize that at the time when this fucking over of you happened, but they fucked with a real one. They, they fucked with a sacred one, really. They fucked with an empowered one, which was uh-oh. Um, and they've screwed the pooch. The pooch has been screwed, and now, uh-oh. Um, I feel like some of them, there's something they're doing at their job that may be illegal. Um, there's something that they they may be losing their temper at their job as well. We have shock, Bates Motel. Shock and awe. I'm feeling, I'm seeing like a lightning strike. Uh, those of you who have casted on this person, um, I feel like your magic came in as a bolt of lightning. What they did to you is, is haunting them. It's becoming almost like its own character in their life. Um, it's almost like it replays over and over in their life. Like the shower scene in Psycho, you know, it's just like a, an epic event, this happening between you two, uh, that they play over and over like a nightmare. They dream about it. Um, you are often in their dreams. They often think of you. Um, it's as if spirit won't let them forget you. Um, because what was done here is so wrong. It was absolutely wrong. This is wrong. We have the other side and we have tr trickster. Okay. Um, we have it and we have poltergeist. Um, and I feel like with trickster, with it, I feel like they feel almost hunted at times. I feel like some of them was seeing this mask. And I'm going to tell you, in their dreams, they literally see like something scary haunting them after them. They have dreams of being chased and things like that. Some of them actually are having paranormal experiences. Some of you guys are so powerful. There's some kind of paranormal thing that's happening. They feel very haunted, okay? Hunted, even. Um... I feel like for those of you who haven't casted, this is karma. They feel like their luck has run out, like they're having a, some bad luck here. Some of them are lost. And, I, you know, I hate to say this because this sounds so, so horrible, but it's like their addictions have returned, okay? They're having a renewal of their addictive, you know, issues and, you know, but... I mean, this person's a shitty human, human being. They, they really fucked you over. So let's talk about this. They're finding out that the people they thought were friends, because I feel like this is what happened to you. Like, you thought this was somebody who was a friend. You thought this was somebody you could depend on, and they fucked you over. And now what's happening is the people in their lives they thought they could trust, the people in their lives they thought had their back, yeah, they're going to fuck them over, or they already have, and they're finding out about it. And for some of them, it's going to affect their work, their home. Um, it's going to affect them in a big way. 
a big loud boom kind of way, a lightning bolt kind of way. Um, and I feel like they, a lot of them have done like cleansing on their house, their ritual, they're doing, they're doing rituals of cleansing and they can't shake this. They can't shake this. They, they underestimated you. We have the chariot in reverse. They just cannot get shit moving. They just cannot. Things are just, it's almost like everything is in pause or slowly moving in reverse for them. Um, and with that, it's like they're reliving, they're stuck in the past. They're like reliving past events. This is someone who sits and thinks about the past and thinks about, well, I should have said this, or we should have said that, or, you know, what do you think would happen if I reached out to them? What do you think would happen? Do you think they would send us money? Do you think they would uh, let us back in? Do you think, like, there's a lot of supposing that goes on. There's a lot of talk about, like, do we have options with them? Do you think that it would be okay? Do you think that we could, uh, no, no, bitch, no. <laughs> the answer is no. There's, this is a no-go. Like, we know you're a horrible human being, and we know you haven't changed. Um, I feel like this person deep down knows that what they did was uncalled for, okay? We have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Five of Wands here. And I, I feel like whatever happened here, the Five of Wands, whatever happened here, whatever fight there was, whatever horrible situation there was, I feel like you are far the better for them being out of your life. Um, it's been a good thing. I feel like I have no regrets about this in the end, but it's almost like for some of you, you had to release some of the sorrow and pain through your magic to get to the Ten of Cups of this situation, to kind of like move on to pursue your Ten of Cups, you know. Um, some of you guys had to go to therapy, and this is karma playing out. This is how karma's working its magic, right? Um, and, and I feel like for some of you, you had to cut a cord with like a family member, okay, which is very difficult to do. All right. And they're feeling the drain of that. They're feeling the loss of that. And it's affecting their life. You know, they're feeling, remember Carol Ann, you know, when she got taken by the spirits, like they're, they're feeling the loss and, uh, they don't know what to do. They wish they could do it over. And it's not because they want to be like in your life. It's because they want to use you. Okay. Because this bitch isn't healed. They're just getting found out. They're getting discovered. Or the bitch-ass punk they are. Okay? Because they're a bitch-ass punk, for real. We have the Two of Swords and Justice. Okay? They are stuck in indecision. Okay? This is your justice. This is their karma for them fucking you over. Point blank period. They are stuck in doubt and indecision. While you move on to happiness, your happiness is your justice. Um, you're heading towards a season of true happiness. They're going to be stuck in this fight or flight kind of energy. They're going to be stuck in kind of like doubt, panic, not sure what to do. Their decisions are not going to be good ones because they're going to be making them from a place of like panic anxiety, overwhelm. Um, and it's because that a lot of their bullshit is found out. Like people aren't buying their bullshit anymore. People aren't putting up with their nonsense anymore. People don't want anything to do with these motherfuckers. And slowly their, their world is going to fall the fuck apart. Because, you know, when you're, when you're an awful human being and you treat people like shit, eventually you're found out. And the other person doesn't have to say shit. It just happens magically one day, either by acts of magic or karma itself, life. And I hate karma because karma is such a locked on kind of word. But it's like the universe balances the scales. The energies must be balanced at some point. And that's what we see here. And I feel like for you, there's a lot of good things coming. Like this Ten of Cups is your justice. It's your 
it's like a reward from the universe for getting away from this, for stopping this pattern of toxicity. This could be a generational pattern in a family. This could be something that, you know, it may not have been a family member that this happened with. It could be, um, but it's a pattern that repeats within a family. Um, and it doesn't have to be like it could be a personal pattern is what I'm trying to get to that repeats within a family. It could be a family pattern, but it also could be a personal pattern if you get my drift. It could be addiction as a personal issue, um, or it could be a generational issue such as abuse within the family. So take that as it will, and those are examples, okay? Okay, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, there is a recovery coming for you. And it feels very happy, very strong, very um, blissful. And I feel like for you right now, um, spirit is like, you need to rest. You need to rest your ass. Uh, take it easy. You know, you've been through a lot with this. You've been dealing with a lot of bullshit. Okay. Um, and just be known that you are untouchable. Like no one can touch you. You are protected. You, again, you may have been drawn to group one. Okay. You're very protected. And those who messed you over, those who fucked you over and were heartless and left you in really bad situations. And some of you guys have been fucked over many times. Okay. And karma's come into play. The goddess nemesis has risen literally and look her up. Okay. Uh, she's here to balance these scales. And when the scales of justice are so, unrightly imbalanced, she rises to balance them. And she rises for the love of justice itself, for the love of getting the right thing to happen. And that's what we see happening on the world stage. And we see it happening in our lives. And um, I encourage you to expect justice in your life. Expect good things to happen in your life because you deserve them after being through. I can tell group four, you have been broken and bruised. Okay. You've been through a lot because, uh, this feels like at one point for many of you, this was a very important connection. And, and that's why what they're going through is so intense because they're going to understand the depth of the love and care you had for them. Had. Because I feel like in order for you to move on for this, from this, you had to shift your energy. You had to let go. And many of you guys cut a cord and had to let this bitch go. And it was painful. And that's why when I feel your energy, I don't feel you tied to this person. I feel this is like a ghost from your past. They feel the loss of you. And it's like they're lingering. They're haunted. And you're moving forward. And this is your guides, your spirits coming forward to let you know what's going on with them. All right? Okay, group four, that's what I received for you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.